Hello. You are not at an angle or location where you're usually at, now are you? Hey, what's up everybody? Commando Radix here bringing you another video. And today, I want to talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind lately. You know, I don't really like to talk about things like, you know, things of a political nature on this channel. I don't really think that's the role this channel should have. But I think, um... I should preface this by saying I hate modernity. I hate the modern world and much that comes with it. I like air conditioning though, I'll, I'll keep air conditioning. But I hate modernity. You know, in many respects I would rather live in an older era, even if it's not even that much older than today. But I think the root of a lot of the things that I hate in the modern era stems from sort of, I guess we could call it over-socialization. Um, I really don't know how to talk about this without becoming a political channel. Anyway, this is to sum up to say that I am an old soul, which is a fancy way of saying I'm racist, which is a fancy way of saying that I don't like the modern world. Um, so, I was thinking about over-socialization and the type of people that I hate, and I've realized that, you know, with all of its trappings, with all the good things that has come from it, and I have spent so much of my life on it, but I think at its root, at the root of who I am and at the root of what it is, I think that I hate the internet. It sounds like it's going to be a terrorist manifesto. But maybe it's more accurate to say, not that I hate the internet, but that I love peace, I love simpleness, I love uh, harmony, which are things that you do not find on the internet that much. I am from the rural parts of the United States, specifically of the South. I'm used to driving for a long time, seeing nothing but fields and trees. And then when I moved from the South to Japan, I moved to a remote area uh, that had a very small population, and all I could see for miles upon miles were ocean and sand and trees. And then I moved again to where I'm at here, again in Japan. It's a little bit less, it's, it's less rural than where I came from. But it's still a very peaceful land. Um, I can look out my window and see the sea. I can see trees. It's, there's not many vehicles that go by here. I think I've told you guys before that I live on top of a cliff um, <laughs> over the sea. But it's very peaceful, and I think that's the type of person I am. I'm not used to things like cities. I'm not used to walking outside, seeing a bunch of people, seeing advertisements for all these different things, um, seeing a hundred different signs for a hundred different businesses uh, within one second. I'm getting used to all the cars that are driving by. I'm not used to that. I am a simple little Commander Radix, right? I am born to be in the fields, harvesting them potatoes. I'd rather not, though. But let's think about the internet. The internet, if you had to associate it with a type of lifestyle, it would definitely be more like the cities. It would be advertisements everywhere. It would be people everywhere. It would be a non-stop flow of something to do, right? And that's not something that I think really fits with me. Which is funny because I love the internet, you know, compare this to when I said I hate the internet a few minutes ago, but I'm, I'm constantly on the internet, constantly using the, using the internet. Um, I'm using social media, I'm using research stuff. I really use the internet mostly for research, now that I come to think of it. But I think I need to stop or at least take a break from the internet. Not from, like, making YouTube videos, that's not what I'm talking about. In fact, this might result in more YouTube videos being made, what I'm about to do. I've realized that sometimes I'm unhappy, and I, you guys know what this is going to be about. This is about a break from the internet, but I think 
When I hear break from the internet, what I usually imagine is someone not using social media anymore. Um, because of all the toxic people and all the hate. Don't get me wrong, that's the part that I love about the internet, that you can go on and immediately fight someone over something ridiculous. I'm okay with that. I have fun with that. That's not why I'm taking a break from the internet. To me, my biggest issue with the internet is that it can become a sort of hole, a time hole that just takes time away from you. And I feel sometimes that I could spend a whole day just watching YouTube videos or scrolling, you know, I might catch myself on my phone looking at Instagram for too long because it just endlessly scrolls cat videos. And something that I don't think we really think about that much as a whole of time is, you know, I often go down Wikipedia holes where I'm constantly clicking new links on Wikipedia, learning more, learning more, but it's never directed, it's never focused. I can be on, you know, the American Civil War one day, and then, like, within a few minutes, I'm on, like, uh, the types of guns that were used in the Imperial Japanese Navy's warships, and then a few clicks later from that, I'm looking at, you know, some sort of obscure shrine in Tokyo or something like that. And it's not really a directed study, and sometimes, for, for me who loves to learn, you know, that Wikipedia rabbit hole is something that feels like learning. It's stimulating what I need to have stimulated to feel like I'm learning, but I'm not actually learning. I can't produce something of quality from that. You know, the point of learning for me, the point of research for me, is to be able to reproduce that information and deliver it um, with my own version, you know, my own account based on what I've researched. It's synthesizing multiple sources, and especially with Wikipedia, it's hard to do that. There's a video by, I think the guy's name is J.J. McCullough or something like that, he's a Canadian, but he made a video talking about the problems of Wikipedia and how Wikipedia can create one narrative and then everyone just uses Wikipedia for research, right? And then everyone just ends up spreading the structure of an article that a Wikipedia article has, right? He mentioned that he was listening to a film podcast because he likes to get information from podcasts and the podcast host was talking about a movie um, and then JJ checked the Wikipedia page and everything the podcaster is saying is literally just the order of information on Wikipedia. And he says that's very dangerous for information, that uh, information is created one way and then it's just constantly regurgitated in the same style. Which I agree, that is very problematic for information. So I've seen myself waste so much time with just endlessly watching YouTube videos, often not watching videos that I actually want to watch. I'm just watching it to fill in time, scrolling through Instagram and Twitter endlessly, um, going down Wikipedia rabbit holes that aren't actually productive for research. And I'm thinking about how I'm losing all this time, you know? I'm not making YouTube videos when I'm doing that, when I'm endlessly watching YouTube videos. I'm not making my own, right? And I'm thinking about... There was a period in my life from about third grade up until around the time I graduated high school where more or less I was grounded from the internet due to things like my grades. Now, how enforced that grounding was, fluctuated over the years, but overall that was a time period where I couldn't use the internet that much, I couldn't watch TV that much, and I'm thinking about that time period, and honestly that time period was when I was the most creative, um, when I was the most productive. For example, the Calamos Mythos. Give me one moment. The Calamos Mythos, for those of you who are not new to this channel, you know the Calamos Mythos was sort of my fanfic, hybrid fic type series. You know, it originally started as like homemade comics and now it's in text form. But the Calamos Mythos, the most writing I ever did for the Calamos... The most writing I ever did for the Calamos Mythos, or Cuckoo, the Cuckoo Universe, as it was called back then, was done when I was banned from the internet. You know, that was a very creative period of my life. Another thing is reading and research. A lot of the base knowledge I have from things about, like, world history, my base knowledge actually, you know, things I know by heart, actually haven't changed that much from when I was in that time period because, you know, all I could do was read encyclopedias at that time. And I started with World War I, moved on to World War II, and then expanded from there. 
that's how I got into history. And I think I did a lot more focused research back then than I have ever done for my history videos on this channel. And I am guilty of, you know, using Wikipedia as a basic outline, using Wikipedia's outline for my outline of my videos somewhat. Um, but some of my best videos, for example, the Ancient North Siberians video, that was pretty good. Um, and I don't follow the outline for the Wikipedia article. Because there's no Wikipedia article for the Ancient North Siberians. That video is from the ground up original research from me. And I always thought it's best if I don't use all these different internet general use encyclopedias. I need to get books. I need to get primary sources and secondary sources. And I need to spend time to read these and then be able to form my own synthesis. But I'm like, but I have no time. Is it really that you have no time or that you're using all your time looking at YouTube videos you don't care about? How many reviews of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness have I watched when I have no intention on seeing Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? And to how, to what degree are my opinions on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness determined by all those reviews that I saw without me actually having seen it? You know, I feel like I'm letting other people's doing, other people doing the living part for me. Japanese. Japanese is very important to me. And I think about the most I did in Japanese, you know, the most consistently productive I've been with my Japanese learning was in that time period where I was banned from the internet, but I had a disc called Human Japanese, and I started with that, and I learned a lot through that, and then I had the textbook Teach Yourself Japanese, and I learned through that. And like, wow, I consistently went through a CD program and read through an entire textbook. That's that's a thick book, by the way, Teach Yourself Japanese. And uh, that became like the foundation for my learning in Japanese. And I'm thinking, wow, I did all that when I didn't have reliable access to the internet. Hmm, I wonder if there's a connection there. And also just general reading. I used to read a lot more. So I think in order to spark up my productivity and in order to reconnect with the things I used to love to do before I went onto the internet 24-7, is I need to take a break from the internet. Now, there are some exceptions to this. I use the internet to pay my bills. I use the internet to upload and promote my YouTube videos. I use the internet to get pictures for my YouTube videos. I use the internet to access Notion, which I've been using to organize my life recently, and also where all my notes on the books I've been reading go into. Um, but for that, stuff, using the internet is okay. And I will even allow myself to use YouTube if I have a specific video in mind or topic in mind. I can watch that video, maybe allow myself maybe up to five videos a day, but after that, YouTube goes down. I can't watch more YouTube like that. I'm also allowing myself to use the internet to legally download PDFs of any books that I need for my own research. But besides that, I'm trying to move away from the internet. That means not using social media, um, except maybe like maybe once a week, uh, and besides promoting my videos. Uh, and also messages, like I live in Japan, I need to talk to people, so I'll, I'll, I'll allow messages, right? But besides that, no social media, um, no, even when I'm doing research, my main source of research for videos from this point on should be from books and articles and other, you know, primary, secondary sources that aren't, you know, online general use encyclopedias. That's not what my research should be. I need to give myself more time to read. But yeah, no just endlessly scrolling Instagram and Twitter. No more endlessly watching YouTube videos. That's my goal. No more endlessly going down Wikipedia rabbit holes. Now, what do I plan to do without the internet? Well, good question. I have a whiteboard. It's upside down. The first thing I have on here is reading for fun. I want to reconnect to the old me who enjoyed reading. And I've been doing that. I've been reading for fun for like the past, for the past two weeks. I've been, I've been through a lot these the past two weeks. I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Wow. But yeah, I've been reading Herodotus's histories for the last two weeks, really. Um, I'm about halfway through. I know it doesn't look like halfway, but you have to remember like, a whole third of this chunk is appendixes and notes. 
Um, but I'm reading Herodotus's history. I feel like as a historian, I have a responsibility to read the first history book from the first historian. So yeah, I'm reading for fun. I've been going around buying books like a madman lately. I am in financial uh, desperation. I want to try to read more, right? Also, to improve my Japanese, I want to continue doing Japanese reading progress. Uh, practice. You know, my Japanese is fine. I can talk in Japanese. I can have a conversation in Japanese. But what I have difficulty with is reading academic texts or reading things that are related to my interest um, because my interests are usually, you know, high stuff like, you know, history. So I'm going to give myself more time to practice reading in Japanese. And I have a world history book that I bought here recently. And I'm going to read through this a little bit you know, try to understand the Japanese, just sort of read for academic purposes in Japanese. And also listen to podcasts. I think I can let myself listen to podcasts. I also want to enjoy music a little bit more than I have in the past. Again, this is all stuff I want to use my time with that I used to spend just watching YouTube videos endlessly. I have pure research. research. And what I mean by pure is, you know, not like tertiary sources uh, or, you know, unreliable sources like Wikipedia. So I have, like I said, I've been buying books more recently. You know what, let me show you how my library looks right now. So here's what we're dealing with with my library. I want to do a whole video on my library in the future. And we have books down here as well. This is usually a full bookshelf, but I took out a few books um, to show you during the recording today. Um, then we have books down here as well as research papers that are in those folders. So we're doing good on the on the books front. And I also downloaded an, an ungodly amount of PDFs of legal books. So I should be set as far as books are concerned for research. Do you like my little Haniwa guy? This is my little Haniwa guy. He's on top of the Japanese history books. So for future history videos, I hope you'll notice that um, the quality of research should be better in the future. Um, I got this really rare history book, like this ancient rare history book that specifically deals with the 13 colonies from 1660 to 1713, which is exactly the range of time that I need to do research and write for uh, Commander Radix's American History. So that's going to be fun. Writing the Calamos Mythos. The Calamos Mythos has been on a bit of a hiatus lately, and I want to continue that. We are still in the middle, I think, of Endless Crisis, and I want to hurry up and end Endless Crisis so I can go back to writing without an outline. I think what I've discovered with Endless Crisis is that I cannot write well if I know what I'm going to write. You know, if I have an outline, if I have a plan, then I just don't want to write. So after Endless Crisis, things might be goofy again. Things might go off uh, on tangents. But uh, I think that's just how I write at this point. Recording videos like this. I guarantee you that this video would not have been recorded at this point in time if it wasn't for the fact that I have nothing else to do, you know. And honestly, it's a so much better use of my time than just watching random YouTube videos and scrolling Instagram endlessly or really being in a endless loop of Wikipedia articles. So I would expect, you know, my videos to be more consistent going through, uh, going on from now on, assuming that I can stay off the internet. Another thing is uh, reading the Bible. You know, I'm trying to learn a lot more about Christianity lately. Um, so I've been looking into a lot of stuff, especially the Lord of Spirits podcast, which is done by some Eastern Orthodox priests. Um, but they go into like the deep lore in Christianity. And I think it's a wonderful podcast and answers a lot of questions I have about stuff. But, you know, in tandem with this, I'm reading the Bible more. I want to try to at least read a chapter a day, if that makes sense. But I don't know how feasible that is. But I'm trying to devote more time to reading this so I can get sort of more of a religious education that I don't really have. Now, this one, I'm not sure how I'm going to do. But I want to use my time to practice the piano more. You know that... uh the piano was one of my hobbies. It's You see it in the background of many of my videos. Uh, but I'm still a beginner at it, despite having that piano for uh, like 
two years now, and I want to spend more time on the piano. I don't know how I'm going to do that without the internet, though, because the internet has been my main source of help for the piano. I don't know if I should go out and get a piano playing book, or if I should just allow myself to use YouTube to learn piano stuff. I don't know what to do. I'm really thinking about what to do there. Maybe I'll get a piano book. I just don't know what a good piano book is. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. And then just another general thing is exercise. I think I need to get more exercise into my life, especially um, when I sit down so much. Um, so I'm thinking maybe if I take out all the endless time I spend you have no idea how long I just spend watching YouTube video after YouTube video. But, you know, if I take that YouTube time away and, like, spread it out, I should be good. So maybe I can fit in some exercise. Lately, I've been doing running. Um, so that's fun. I've been doing this no internet thing for two days now, and I already feel like... You know, I already feel like I jumped back in time, um, and I'm leaving the world of modernity. I know I'm not, though, but I think it's a good step towards me living the type of life that I want to. I don't know if this cutting out the internet will be a temporary thing, or if it will be a permanent thing. Um, especially if, it, if, I, if I did no internet at all, then yeah, it would be a temporary thing. But because I'm allowing specific instances, it might just become a new lifestyle. I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. But I'm actually enjoying using my time for my hobbies instead of watching YouTube over and over again. So, as it stands right now, I don't want to go back to the lifestyle I was doing literally three days ago. I do not recommend you guys adopt this lifestyle because I get money from YouTube views. And if you guys stop watching YouTube, uh, I'm screwed. Anyway, that's just an update about what's going on in the Commander Radix sphere. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I don't know how to end videos. Um, maybe take a look at your life, see how much time you spend wasting. Like, where are you wasting time and how can you adjust? I, w I realized I wanted to see more of nature, so I went and bought binoculars. And let me tell you, there's no comfortable way for a guy who lives alone to go out to the store quietly by binoculars because I know the everyone looking at me in the binoculars section is like, oh, that guy's going to use those binoculars to stalk somebody and then commit crimes against them. Please don't think that. Anyway, expect more videos in the future because I don't have anything else to do with my time. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Pew. We'll just keep rising higher Cause we'll never forget you There ain't nobody else If you do what you do I ain't about to